How's it going, people? Hanging in there. Um, thought I'd try a little something different. So I got some unfiltered sake. And I've uh, heated it my tea service <laughs> in the microwave. Uh, uh, pure delight. It's like milk plus. Ooh. Goes right to your head when you warm it up. Also, I have some Easter Jesus chocolate left over. None of that Ishtar Easter Bunny shit. This is about what this that holiday is really about. Jesus, the guy who came later. <laughs> yeah, I mean the pagan shit happened first, but you know he came around and fixed it. Hmm. No, oh, I got some of these left over. These J Dub tracks. Which one do I want to read? Oh, how do you view the future? Will our world stay the same, get worse, or get better? So we got like multiple choice. That's nice of them. Well, we got a little girl planting a a. A sprout with a bunch of pollution belching factories in the background. So, kind of a mixed message right there. Typical. Oh, goes right to your head when you heat it up. Uh, what the Bible says God will wipe. Out every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more. Neither will mourning, nor outcry, nor pain be any more. The former things have passed away. It sounds an awful lot like the other verse, the other ones I've read before. It's like, are they just cutting and pasting the same thing and putting a different title on it? it seems very similar. Anyway, Revelations 21, 3 and 4 is where that came from. New World Translation, not some J-Dub translation this time. It suits their purposes, so they'll use a different one, I guess. <sighs> not drunk enough to do this yet. Hang on. All right. can mean for you. Meaningful and satisfying work. Isaiah 65, 21 through 23. No more sickness or suffering of any kind. Isaiah 25, 8 and also 33, 24. A happy unending life with family and friends. Psalm 37, 11, and 29. <clears throat> Can we really believe what the Bible says? <laughs> yes, for at least two reasons. Sounds like all the other ones I read already. Okay. God has the ability to fulfill the promise. In the Bible, Jehovah God alone is called the Almighty. For he has unlimited power. That's Revelation 15.3. So he is, the, he is fully able to keep his promise to change our world for the better. As the Bible says, with God all things are possible. That's Matthew 19, 26. Yeah, just, what about all the believers that got swept away during the tsunami? Well, it was his will, but he had the power to do something about it. You know, what about all those uh, victims of, uh, you know, child molesting priests and, and 
you know, predators, you know, human predators, you know, and they're believers and they're praying to God and God does nothing. But it was his will. He could have done something, but he decided to watch because he can't not watch, you know. So he had the power to stop it, but, you know, he's got a, he's got a master plan going on here. All right. Uh, and the other reason is God has a de desire to fulfill the promise. He just hasn't done it yet and continues not to do it. For example, Jehovah has a yearning to restore life to people who have died. Job 14, 14, and 15. Yeah, he, didn't he just like kill the, all of Job's family pretty much and said, you know what, I'm going to give you some new kids and a hotter wife <sighs> and all your, you know, even more wealth now that you've passed this test. <sighs> uh, the Bible also shows that God's Son, Jesus, Healed the sick, the ones lucky enough to cross his path anyway. Why did he do so? Why isn't he doing it now? That's a more important question. Uh, because he wanted to. So he, he wants to not do it now. Okay. See? Stands a reason. Okay. Uh, Mark 1, 40 and 41. That's where you can find that explained away. Jesus perfectly reflected his father's personality by his desire to help those in need. John 14.9 So we can be sure that both Jehovah and Jesus want to help us enjoy a happy future. Psalm 72.12-14 16, 2, and Peter, uh, 2 Peter, uh, 2 Peter 3, 9. If you do not have a Bible, you can read it online at www.jdub.org backslash en go to publications forward arrow Bible. You just made it too complicated. Think about it. How will God change our world for the better? The Bible answers that question at Matthew 6, 9, and 10, and Daniel 2, 44. You just know how to jump around the right way. Learn more without cost. Yeah. Can you read it? I'll put the information where you can get at it below. And see, so you could even do a snap scan. Maybe you can do it on the computer. Yeah, there you go. Put your iPhone up to uh, the computer screen. <laughs> okay, a slight variation on the others, but it's basically the same shit. So anyway, did you learn anything? Let me know what it is so I can claim that I learned it too. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Bye.